This is John 15, 5 through 8, the message translation. I am the vine, you are the branches. When you're joined with me and I with you, the relation intimate and organic, the harvest is sure to be abundant. Separated, you can't produce a thing. Anyone who separates from me is dead wood, gathered up and thrown on the bonfire. But if you make yourselves at home with me and my words are at home in you, you can be sure that whatever you ask will be listened to and acted upon. This is how my father shows who he is. When you produce grapes, when you mature as my disciples. So in this passage, Jesus is saying that when you have him in your life, anything you ask for, he will pursue. And the relationship that you have with Jesus Christ, he sees as equal that your love for him is equal to his love for you. And when that relationship is equal and connected in the right way, just like branches of a tree, good things will happen. But when you separate from Jesus, it's like a branch of a tree falling off. You guys know that if a branch falls off of a tree, it will eventually die. That tree limb will die. And that's what Jesus is saying that we are without him. That we, when we fall away from him, that's what happens to us. And then eventually, that dead wood that we become is thrown onto a bonfire. He says, but if you make yourselves at home with me, and my words are at home in you, you can be sure that whatever you ask will be listened to and acted upon. So Jesus is saying that he wants us to make ourselves, make our home in him. That may sound really weird, but when you have your home, that's the place that you're comforted the most. And Jesus wants us to make him the place that we are comforted the most. And that his words, the Bible, the Bible are his words. Those are where we feel most at peace and comforted. And he's saying that if this happens, if we do this, if we are comforted by him, then whatever we ask when we pray, will be listened to. He will listen to us, and he will act upon whatever we ask of him. For example, if I were to ask Jesus to help me out, um, to help me get a new friend, if this is the only time I've ever talked to Jesus, and I'm just asking him because I need a new friend, not because I love Jesus, and I'm confiding in him that I'm having a hard time, He's not, he's not really going to do anything. But if I continually come to Jesus and confide in him and let him know what's going on in my life and pray and ask for peace in my life and find comfort in going to the Bible and scripture, then he will answer my prayers. I hope um, this devotion found you in good health. And I hope that you give someone a hug today. If it's uh, not someone that you live with, then give them a high five from six feet away, an air five. Okay, you guys have a good week.